Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is ContiTech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a very wide range of vehicle engines, simply, safely and quickly. The videos show the key working steps for workshop professionals. My name is Stefan Meyer and I'll show you a different vehicle engine in each video. Welcome to the next in our series on chains. Today I have a Mercedes Sprinter, a four-cylinder 2.1-liter 80-kilowatt CDI engine. Engine code OM611.981, built in 2000. You need chain kit TC1008K1 for this. You have the following tools from the manufacturer to help with fitting. Today we're going to change our chain drive, that includes the slide rails, and that means removing the engine. There are two ways of changing the timing chain in this engine. One involves simply threading the new timing chain into place. That means we don't change the slide rails. It's possible for the chain to start slapping the slide rails, causing damage to them as a result. For that reason, we're going to change the whole system, including the slide rails. This engine involves a higher labor input than usual. The first step is to completely remove the engine. Unfortunately, there is no alternative. You can now see a mark on the crankshaft sprocket for setting TDC. It says OT, the German abbreviation for TDC. This has to be aligned with the lug in the engine behind it. Then there is a mark at the top of the camshaft. First remove the cylinder head cover and the injectors so we can lock it. Then also remove the oil pan in advance. Next, lock the camshaft sprocket. There is a bore here and one in the sprocket. Lock that using our tool. There are marks on the other camshaft. These are not locked. We have a bore here and a mark here. These two have to be aligned vertically in the 12 o'clock position. Finally, there is a dot in the center of both camshafts. These dots have to be aligned with the notch in the bracket behind. The timings are set. First remove the front cover. Remove the vacuum pump, low pressure pump and high pressure pump. The camshafts are the next items to be removed. First, detach the chain tensioner and the sprocket. Then use the special tool to press out the right pin of the chain link. Okay, the hat has now been removed. But no need for you to lose yours, there are only two more steps and then the chain drive will be exposed. Remove the water pump and the front housing cover. This is what it looks like once the chain drive is exposed. Now you can change the components. I've now fitted the two new slide rails on the chain. First reinstall the faceplate and the water pump, fit the head on top and pass the chains through so that we can pin them. Now join the chain using the master link supplied and the special tool. I've secured the chains at both ends using cord. You can also use a hook or cable tie simply to ensure that the chain can't fall through if released. We have two components left in our kit. There's another slide rail. Fit this together with the camshaft. Next, reattach the chain tensioner at the side and then reassemble the engine in reverse order. OK, almost done. You now just have to check everything has been reassembled. Follow the manufacturer's specification, particularly when it comes to the torques. Remember, gently does it. Don't forget our quality mark. Place our change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment, so the customer sees that you've installed quality.